It linked to cancer. This chemical is polluting our water. This chemical kills bees and butterflies. This chemical is bad for our planet. We're all here today to protest the use of glyphosate herbicides on the streets, parks, schools and recreational grounds of everywhere in the borough. What do we want? No more poison! When do we want it? Now! We have looked at other London boroughs as Hammersmith and Fulham and they're actually completely pesticide and herbicide free so it's absolutely something that can be done. The residents of Hackney have become used to a clean and tidy public realm and what we've got to do as part of our aggressive reduction of glyphosate spraying is to do that in a managed way. Despite the council's interest in keeping the streets there is a much greater crisis. We've got to do it in a way that ensures that those weeds and that flora that grows in the public well doesn't become a vector for trapping things like litter. We ask you to make this a primary priority not to keep the streets tidy, but to preserve the biodiversity of our planet. What do we want? No more poison. When do we want it? Now. No more poison. This is a gift. I think this is to remind me of doing my job and every time I look at them I've got to be reminded of what potentially um, I could be damaging. So they are fake? They're fake darling, yeah. I think they're fake anyway. What we want to see is leadership and a bit of progression. If we can ban glyphosate in Hackney, which is a powerful council in the middle of the, one of the most powerful cities in the world, then that will send out a really strong message to other areas in the world that they can do that too. We're hoping that Hackney will reach out to other boroughs and learn from them. Hammersmith and Fulham Council two years ago committed to going glyphosate free and they recently said that they had no intention of looking back.